tour of the motorhome. This is a Pioneer Pizarro. Or alternatively, you can call it an Auto Cruise Vista. It's the same layout as an Auto Cruise Vista, and it's been built by the same people that built the Auto Cruise Vista. They just called it a Pioneer Pizarro. So this is a, an introduction to the motorhome. I'm just going to go for, through a few things with you, just so you'll get a, a feel for her. She's done 41,000 miles. We've got electric windows, electric mirrors. We have wooden dash, not wooden, but you know, the stuff you pull on to make it look like wood. At the moment, there is a tape deck on board, but it will be swapped out for a Sony, which has a USB and an iPod and phone system. And it is a, that's the model number. If you want to look that up on the internet. It's Bluetooth and can be linked through to your phone. But at the moment, I'm running with a tape deck. It has a reversing camera, which comes on when you press this button, has to have the ignition on. And at the moment, I've put the wheelie bin at the back of the van. So you can see how close you are to the wheelie bin. So if you don't see daylight just there, you need to see daylight there so that you know how close you are to the car that you're backing up to. So here's the wheelie bin and it has the electric extending step out. I put that back in and then you have roughly three quarters of a meter so when you're backing up to a, another vehicle if you leave daylight you will be a meter if you steps out you will be quarter of a meter okay so we have a wardrobe and i have fitted on this bottom switch which comes on with that light down there, there's a light comes on in here, like the wardrobe. We've got three shelves, and this side we have the freestanding table that comes out to sit into the center of the van here. We have cooker, four burners, with the side protection. I, I, norm, I don't normally have these on, I take them off, but I put them back on so you can see how they work. And that's four burners and it has the ignition. So if I turn that to there, push it in, press the ignition and the back burner will light. If I do the same on the other side, oh, well, I can't do it on the other side, I won't be able to reach it. Anyway, I might just reach this front one. Push it in, yeah, I can reach it. And there she is, she lights. So we have the, and that works on the grill and the oven. The oven is a extra shelf oven. So there's two shelves in the oven. The grill is wrapped up in a, a tea towel because it rattles otherwise when you're driving. So that's the grill, everything works. We come to the fridge. It's a three-way fridge. So it works, turn the ignition on, you can see the ignition's flashing, turn the gas, push it in when it lights, there you go, the ignition's now gone out, which means the gas is now lit. You leave that ignition on all the time, so if, if something happens to your gas in, the, in, in during the day or the night and the wind blows it out, the ignition will relight it. So as long as that's not flashing, the gas is lit. And you, you've also got that little window down in there, which you know about. So that's fine. Now turn the gas off and she start to flash again. So, and then she works on 12 volt and works on 240 volt. 
very good fridge it, it runs quite cold so we have the board that folds back and clicks into the top and we have cold water facing the tap this way and we have hot water facing the tap that way and the hot water is works on both electric and gas I don't also normally have this on the four screws here to take out and this goes storage along with these things I like the open look we have TV and aerial electric hot water and 12 volt cigarette lighter charging your phone etc little junk cupboard and we have the control panel then we have storage just a general storage we have a tv aerial turn it on and it's a booster i don't know if it were if that works i don't have a tv i never i don't use the tv so i think it works pretty sure it works and then we have storage in the other cupboards lighting throughout the van we've got 12 12 volt light in here this that is operated from these switches here and that's the awning light or the outdoor light there and then we have the skylight <coughs> excuse me it opens and slides we have storage up here for bedding you're not going to see in there because it's dark, but it is quite roomy. It's quite a, get a lot, quite a lot of bedding in there. I generally put the, the pillows up the side, you know, just make more room. And we've got window locks on there. You take these off so you can open the window. We have cab door locks. So these here, you, you turn that and it deadlocks across and you need the key to open it. And we have one on that side. It's, it's a, a, a deadlock. So you turn it over and it deadlocks the uh, cam belt was changed 29,000 miles. It's done 41,000 miles. So it's 12,000 miles ago. Bathroom shower we have the cassette toilet has electric flush and the, the normal cassette is underneath we have drop down sink and that again hot and cold running water hot is here that's the hot and that's the cold and the same with the shower and that tilts away just holding the cushion the towel out of the way that tilts your way down the back and that just lifts off if you drop anything down there uh the shower is up here it's a skylight the boiler for the hot water is situated in there bottom of the cooker in this one we have the water pump and then we've got storage for pans and tin food, etc. You normally put tin food on that shelf, and I normally put all the pans on that shelf and have a little waste bin. It stands in here for your tea bags in small bits of waste. Right, I'll show you the seats. So you've got two captain chairs, they both turn round. If you want this one to face really backward then you have to jiggle it past the steering wheel but I generally just have it like that we don't normally use that one there's only two of us so one of us sits here and the other one normally sits back here in the L bit we've got blinds on all the blackout blinds and fly blinds this fly blind here has a small tear in it just there but the blackout blind works fine. 
flats out as the black outline works fine that side. And also the far line line works fine that side. This window also has the locks on it. So you take that off. What it does, it stops people putting a coat hanger up through there and lifting your bar. See, some of the robbers put a coat hanger up through these rubbers and push this up. But with this on it, it stops from doing it because it, it won't it won't lift because that, that tail stops it. That's down there on all the windows. Show you the bed now. So we sleep with our heads at that end on a cold night. And then we sleep with our heads at that end on a hotter night. The reason we do that is you can have the cab windows open, driver's door, passenger door windows open slightly, if you so wish, but there's more room in the cab area for your, for your breathing, more air. Now this bed is roughly seven, 70, 74 inches, I have to think about that. It's roughly 74 inches in length and roughly 48 inches wide. Something like that. But you can, you've got the gist, you can see it. And you, I'll show you how to make the bed up when you come to look at the van. But that's basically it. Under bed storage, the rear of the van, this is where the bathroom and the toilet is. There is storage under here. In this bag is the silver screen for the cab. The two side windows and the windscreen. It's got silver insulated screen. In this one, we have the Truma gas heater, which is only gas. It doesn't work on electric. There's a control box for the heater in there. There's the onboard blown pipes. One goes through to the bathroom and a couple comes out into the van. On this next one, we have some more storage. Then mats are over mats for the winter. They go in the cabin in the back just to keep the carpets clean. Gas locker in there. That hatch there you can on a wet day say going out to put the gas on you can do it by putting your hand down in there and just turn the valve so you can turn the gas on from inside the van and there's more blow air piping down there. You got some storage in the bathroom We've got storage in the van, four cupboards here. We've got storage locker across the top. You've got three storage lockers here. This end one I use for all my coffee and tea and brew making equipment. I've also got a fire extinguisher in there. One thing about windscreen has a crack in it. It's there, it's been there for as many years, well it was there when I bought the van and it was and it goes through every MOT, it's not a problem. It's not gone all the way down, it's just crossed there. That's one of the bad things with the van. Another bad thing with the van, you're not gonna see this because the sun's up here, but there's some brakes. There, yeah, you can see this. Where this blind goes across, it's gone brittle. I can't buy a new one, they don't make them anymore. I've tried and tried and tried. I try to rear his and does all the auto crew stuff. But as you can see, the blind works fine, but there is brakes in it. And when the fly screen comes, comes across, the sun's shining, so you're not going to see this. This side's fine. Front of the van, it's fine. It must have just been sat in sunlight somewhere. And it got brittle, but it does still work. You just go steady, just take your time, and it does still black out. Like that. There's two bad things about the van that's broken, and that crack in the windscreen. Cutlery drawer holds a fair amount of bits and pieces. On this passenger side, we have the vents for the fridge. We have the water filler, which is a crystal two type fitting. We have the vent for the hot water boiler. 
and we have the garage door that houses the spare wheel which is an okay one there's four new tires can you can't see that can you it's too dark in here there is four new tires on the vehicle and this is a good spare leisure battery is housed in there there is a 30 meter quite long 30 meters is is too much really so you have to like zigzag it out so there's a 30 meter electric there's two leveling ramps there is the well outdoor pump for putting water in from an aqua roll here's a 10 meter fresh water hose food grade and it has the crystal two fitting on the end of the pipe and there is the crystal two fitting on the motor hole and we have a blank end popped in there so you can feel from a tap i generally use my tap there to fill up before we go away same when you're on site you can fill up or you can bring a water aqua roll to the vehicle and use that pump it plugs in there and switches on from inside the van and it will pump your aqua roll into your tank four new tires and four new wheel trims Everybody will see them. their date the date on the tire is 1321 so it's the 13 week of the year 21 so they are new tires four of those no you know the sun's going to affect the camera now we've got on a retracting step the switch is this one up here let me see that and that just comes in and comes out we have a fly screen on the back door Pioneer up there. So it is a auto cruise vista. And it says Pioneer. It's Pioneer Pizarro. We have a security handle. It locks back in that position. Locks in, locks in this position. And then locks in that position across the door. The extra security. Yeah, it's a toilet cassette, reversing camera. I have de-deckled, taken all the decals off. <coughs> and just see, now and again, hang on, I'm gonna have to cough. <coughs> One of them dry tickly things. Now and again, you can just see Pioneer Pizarro. They have polished it out, but it's, it's, it looks better without them. The decals were looking a little bit tired. So I've took them off. This one here by the garage, you can still see this one because I haven't polished this one out yet. I might not, I don't know. Let's shut the garage door there you can just see some of the decal there there it is from, from there, yes you can see it there now but from some places you can't see it so i haven't polished it out yet i've not done the sides too, <laughs> too big a job and it's obviously got the awning Passenger side has the gas locker. The electric hook up. And the vent for the gas on board. Space heater. New tires and new wheel trims. 
there is an old decal still up there. I don't know how to get up there to get it off. And I don't know if you can see the crack in the windscreen from here. Yeah, just, just see it there. It comes down and ends somewhere around here. But it keeps going through its MOTs as you can check. Put that number into the government and you'll see it.